Hello my friends. Today I'm going to be showing you how to paint something like this, a translucent uh, flower that kind of looks like a pressed flower. Uh, and I'm going to be doing it with different colors today, but if you'd like me to do the pink one, I'll leave me a comment down below and I will do that one as well. So for today I'm going to be using a few different colors. I'll put the details uh, in the description below, but I'm using a phthalo turquoise, so this one by Daniel Smith, this one here. Um, and then I'm also going to be using Winsor Newton yellow ochre um, to have an accent color kind of in the middle. And then it, for the green stem, I'm kind of using a combination of indigo and yellow ochre to make a kind of darker green. Uh, with a little bit of gray in there as well. The brushes I'm going to be using today are uh, this Winsor Newton round brush in number four and a very tiny one just for details. It's a Winsor Newton Kopman uh, four zeros and I will probably also use this uh, number six snap brush. I think it's Princeton Newton and a pencil to draw the sketch, which uh, maybe you can see it here, but I've sketched out my petals. I have four petals here. And also a toothpick. And a toothpick is going to give us kind of that veining effect. So let's get started. The first step we're going to do is to wet uh, one of the petals. And we're gonna work on, there's four petals here. We're gonna work on two that are apart so that they don't overlap. And then once they dry, we can, we, can, we can work on the other two. So I'll start with this petal up here and I'll just wet it because the first step is going to be a wet on wet technique. So we're just gonna wet that entire petal. Now you might see some of the pencil marks afterwards. So if that's something that bothers you, um, I've seen for other videos, people use uh, watercolor pencil crayons, and then I think it would just blend in. So I might try that in a future video, but for today, just so you can see it a little bit better, I've done it in pencil. So I've wet the entire petal, and now I'm going to drop in, uh, I, I mix the colors so that they're very translucent. So I'm going to show you here, very watery. You can see that they're quite watery. And making them very watery uh, gives it that transparent effect. So we're going to drop in some of this green, which is so pretty, around the edges here. Okay. We'll get it right to the edge. We're going to try to cover as much of that um, pencil that we can so we don't see it too much. Okay. And I might drop in some more saturated color a little bit, especially around the edges. Okay, so we've got that. And now for the middle part of the petal, just to have a bit of a blending, we're going to rinse off our brush and we're going to add a little bit of that yellow ochre, also watered down, and allow it to mix a little bit. Dry off the brush a little bit. Just mix it a tiny bit there. Okay. And then we're going to do this very dark green down here. going down into this. Let's just get a little bit more color in there. Okay, I'm going to let that, actually, I'm going to bring in my toothpick and do a few of the veining now. So all you do is you drag it from the dark into the lighter parts like this. Then I would like it to be a little bit darker, so I am going to come in with a little bit of a darker. Let me try to add in a little bit more gray. I just want it a little bit more saturated. A little bit darker. There we go. That's a little bit better. Okay. 
And now let's drag that with, where did my toothpick go? I lost my toothpick, okay, here we go. And make the lines not straight, but kind of wonky. And I'm just gonna add just a little bit more so that it bleeds along those lines we made. Okay. While we're here, we can maybe make the stem very thin. Okay, that's good. Maybe just a little bit thicker. And I just want to put a little bit of a roundness here. Okay, and drop in a little bit more color. All right. So that is our first petal. Uh, what I think I will do is put in a little bit of a more saturated color up at the top here. Let's see. Yeah, so that it, because watercolor always dries a little bit lighter. So this will just give it a little bit more definition to that petal. Okay, I like that. You can play around with it till you're happy with it. I might wanna add just a little bit more yellow to the middle too, to blend it in. Okay, there we go. And before we add the next petal that overlaps it, we have to make sure that this is completely dry. I'm just blending the edge just a little bit. Like that. Oh, I went outside of my line with my toothpick, that's okay. There we go. Let's round this off. Okay. And with the very, very thinnest brush, we can go in and emphasize just a few of those lines that we dragged. It's a very thin brush, so you have to keep adding color. But just emphasizing a few of those little lines just gives it some, the petal some depth. And we can come back when it's dry and add a little bit more too if we, if we think we need it. Okay, I think I'm happy with that first petal. So I'm going to move on to this petal over here, uh, which doesn't touch this one so that they're not going to overlap at this point. We can allow this one to dry completely. So we're going to do the same steps that we did for the first petal. We're going to wet it just with some water just outlining the petal that we drew like this. And what I've done is I've drawn these petals so that there's a little bit of white space between them because I think that that will look really pretty when it's done. Let's see. If we don't like the white space, we can always paint over it. Okay, so we've wet this whole petal. Now we're going to drop in some of that green, spread it around. Okay, I think it's kind of wet, so I'm actually gonna just pick up some of that um, water in color just to make it a little bit paler okay and while it's still wet sorry I'm just emphasizing the edges and we can come back with some more color there in a minute while it's still wet I'm going to rinse off my brush and go into my yellow my yellow ochre and do that middle part so that it can blend a little bit Okay. And then a 
Again, while it's still wet, we're going to go in with that darker color. And just allow it to bleed a little bit. Oh, I like that effect. That's nice. Okay, and then while it's still wet, we're going to bring our toothpick in and drag and do some of these veining. Again, having some curvature. Try not to go outside of the petal like I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so there we go. We've got some veining lines there. Now, I think it's not dark enough in the middle here, so I'm going to add a little bit more color and some more of the gray. Okay, to get it to go up those lines. Great, okay, I like the way that's looking. Now I wanna go in and add a little bit more of the greeny blue to the edges, just to emphasize the edge of the petal and cover up the lines that I did here. I kind of went outside of my lines, but see, you can easily fix it. Don't worry about it. Watercolor is quite forgiving, actually. And also, flowers don't have to be perfect. They're not symmetrical, so they can look a little bit different. All right, so we're gonna let that dry a little bit and then I'll come back and maybe emphasize the edges a little bit more. It's just a little too wet and so it's spreading everywhere. Let me see if I can take up. I think it's gone a little too far so I'm actually just taking it up a little bit so that it looks a little bit more like this petal over here. But again, they don't have to look exactly the same. Okay. While I'm waiting for that to dry and the first petal to dry a little bit, I can connect it maybe and just emphasize the stem a little bit more. I like the stem to be dark in this one. I think it's a nice contrast to the very translucent petals. here so now I'm not gonna overlap for a little bit okay that's gonna take a bit so one way to speed up the process is to also bring a hair dryer and that can also make it um, just dry a little bit faster Just adding a little bit more color to the edge here. Okay, and using that very tiny brush, going in and emphasizing some of the lines we did. A little bit more. Okay. my toothpick again. <laughs> I keep losing my toothpick. I would like this to be a little bit darker in here. I think I watered down my color a little bit too much. And so now it's But that's okay. That's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna let these two petals dry completely before I do anything that overlaps anything that's wet. Because if you do it while it's still wet, 
it will blend and then you won't see distinct petals and we definitely want to see uh, distinct petals um, overlapped here just while we're waiting for it to dry I'll show you this one again which has very distinct petals and lines and some of the shadows kind of emphasized after it was dry so I added these details after everything was dry okay I will be back okay so we have let it dry and now we can go in and do the other cup other two petals so we've got this one here and this one here I think I might start with the bottom one just to make sure because this one overlaps too I want to make sure both of them are really really uh, dry so let's start with this one here we're going to do the same thing we did before we're going to wet it completely looks like my brush is not completely clean that's okay okay and we're going to overlap just a little bit here okay now we're going to drop in our blue crossing over a little bit there getting right to the edges okay there we go okay and now I'm going to take away some of it because I like the translucent effect so I just want to make it you can see if you take away you actually see that overlap a little bit better okay now let's go in with the yellow just a little bit in the middle here and blending it just a little bit I'm going to go back and put a little bit more of the blue, especially here where we overlap and just a little bit more blending into our yellow there. Good. Okay. I'm happy with that. Okay. And now we're going to go in with our darkest color. What I'm going to do with the smaller brush with the size 4, uh, just for a little bit more control. And I'm going to go in here like this. Just a little bit. Okay, I didn't actually wet it. I should have wet it a little bit first, but that's okay. Just let that seep in just a little bit. Okay, I like that. I'm just going to add a little bit more pigment to this part here. kind of want to add a little bit more pigment to all of this bottom part. But we just need to blend it a little bit. Blend this a little bit, maybe less of an overlap here. I'm going to just bring these two petals a little bit closer together like that. Okay. And then while it's still wet, I'm going to come in with our toothpick. And do some of our dragging. Okay. I think it needs a little bit more color in here. Okay, sorry, I've gotten quiet. 
Okay. Sometimes um, I doubt myself. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to move that. I doubt myself and then uh, I'm not sure what to do next. But the idea is to just keep going, I think. Even if you doubt yourself, just keep going. You might like it at the end. I often don't like my paintings when I am painting them. And at the end, I love them. So don't give up on your paintings. Keep going. And if all else fails, you can doodle over them. And I have other videos on how to doodle on paintings uh, with gold pen always is beautiful. Okay, I think I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. While I'm letting that dry, I can put a little bit more color just around the edges of this one, just to emphasize that a little bit more. That. And some of these little ones as well, just a little bit. Okay. And same thing here, we're gonna just, oh, this one I think we have to let dry a little bit more before we can do that emphasis, so we'll leave that. But we can do this one a little bit. It's nice to do a little bit of a overlap right at the edge, like that. And emphasizing the curvature a little bit. Yeah, I like that. This one here a little bit more. We can always blend it in a little bit more too. We had a, just a touch of water. Okay. I just I wipe I wiped it, and I'm just gonna blend this just down a tiny bit there. Just do little movements. Oh my goodness. All right, so now this is dry, this is dry, so we're gonna do our last petal. And we're gonna do the same technique. We're gonna water it. I'm just wetting it. It's, you almost don't see anything. But we need that to be wet to be able to have that blending. Okay, don't do too much because it'll start to blur your edges. All right, now we're gonna bring in that green, greeny blue color like that. a little bit more in the middle. You can play around with the petal a little bit. I don't want to make it too round. This one's quite round, so this one I'm going to play with a little bit. Okay, I like that. And bringing in the color to the middle. Okay, now we're going to add in our yellow. Actually, first I might take just a little bit away. So just drying it off a little bit. Okay, good. Now we're gonna bring in our yellow. Okay, and allow that to blend just a little bit. And then we're gonna bring in our darkest color uh, with a smaller brush, just for that control. Let's see, we're gonna bring it in through the middle here. Okay, just gonna be careful allowing that white space. Oh, I like that. That looks good. Okay. 
Now, let me see if the white's, like I'm stepping back, kind of looking at it. I think the white space is good. I can make some of it a little bit smaller if I like, like here. There we go. Make that a little bit like that. Okay, I like that. So again, I think it needs to be a little bit darker, so I'm just gonna put in a little bit more of that dark color, which we wanna drag through. So let's load up some color in here. And then we're gonna bring our toothpick and drag that color through for the veining. So like that while it's still wet. Okay, I think that's good. We're just going to add a little bit more color to go along those veins that we just created. There we go. I kind of want to darken this up just a little bit. So I'm just adding a little bit more color here. Okay. And I might come back in with more color when it's a little bit drier. All right, so now we're just gonna do our edges with more of that green. We're gonna come back to this one, which is almost dry. There we go. So now you can define that with a little bit of the green, green, blue, turquoise, I guess. Okay. Here a little bit more. Okay, and then just along some of the lines. I like that. And I'm gonna do it, I think I didn't do it to this one before, so let me just emphasize here just a little bit more edges. There we go. Okay. And I think our last petal is still a little bit wet. It always dries so much lighter. Sometimes after it's dry, you can come back and add a few more details. Okay, we're almost finished. Yeah, I need to let this guy dry a little bit more. Okay. I'm gonna let it dry, do the last little details, and then I think we are done. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so we're just, we let that last petal dry. We're just gonna come in and do the details on that last little petal. Okay, just doing the edges a little bit. and some of the lines to emphasize the curvature of the petals. Okay, I think that this one is just, I'm just gonna blend some of it out a little bit. a time so I like to go in and mess around with stuff so just it looks a little bumpy to me here I just 
just want to fix it a little bit. And this I just want to smooth out. Okay, let's see. I do fuss with things sometimes at the end. But I want to make this a little bit darker too. Just in here a little bit. So I'm adding a little bit, like a, like a fourth layer in a way. And same here, let's just add a little bit more. Just to saturate, oh no. Okay. See, I'm fussing. I have to stop now. Okay, I think I will stop. <laughs> I say that as I go in again. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Um, I think I'm happy with this. This is a fin finished piece. I'll probably take one more photo and show it to you as well. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you give it a try. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, uh, and let me know if you want me to show you this kind of technique again in other colors. I'd be happy to do it. Uh, and anything else that you'd like to see. You can also find me on Instagram at Fernanda Saraga. Uh, and if there's any art there that you'd like to see, let me know. Leave me a comment down below. Thank you so much.